Welcome back. In this video, we will view all of these tools that we have here in, under the Ladybug tab, and we will see how they are organized and like what is the sequence of work, uh, like the workflow that we are going to use in this like uh, analysis process and uh, later in the uh, simulation process. So uh, these are two different tools, Ladybug and Honeybee. So the Ladybug is uh, it's basically an analysis to environmental analysis tool it does all of the it gives you all the information about the weather uh, the sun the temperature the wind speed the wind uh, direction and like some like comfort analysis and so uh, so it basically uh, gives you general information about one uh, location so uh, it, the ladybug does the, the climate uh, analysis uh, on the other hand, Honeybee is more uh, like specific to your project. So uh, you create an energy model of your building. You create like uh, rooms and surfaces and like doors and uh, windows and roofs and so. And you do the energy simulation using these tools. So uh, the Honeybee has like a different functionality than the Ladybug. There is uh, this tab too that is like Honeybee Energy. Uh, which is like related or directly work with uh, this honeybee general tab so this honeybee general tab is about like the building as we said like creating uh, all the surfaces and and so uh, but the uh, honeybee energy gives you the possibility to uh, create to specify like all the other uh, parameters of your building so the uh, basic properties what is like the building program uh, the schedule and uh, you can do like some constructions so like uh, construct some like walls and uh, constructions we will see that uh, you have schedules you have loads and uh, hva system uh, and so so this is the uh, hp look like honeybee energy tab there is also a honeybee radiance which uh, like is like also very useful to calculate the amount of uh, sun radiance entering your building so it assists you like with the lighting of the building and as well as the uh, radiation calculation in uh, the building. Uh, let's start with the ladybug tools. One more thing about like all of these tabs, uh, some things in, in common between them, that uh, all of these tools are like very well organized according to the workflow, the sequence that we are going to be using. So for example, this ladybug tab, it starts with an import, it's uh, numbered as zero, then it develops to the number one, analyze data, then number two, visualize data, and analyze geometry and extras. So uh, the, our work or our workflow will be according to these steps. So we will be starting from importing the data file, or the climate data file, then we're going to be uh, analyzing some data, uh, then visualizing them, and we can like integrate this analysis or like the thing that we've done, integrate them with the geometry. And if we want to do extra work on this analysis, so we can use from here. So uh, it, it is uh, working like uh, this sequence, uh, as we said. As we mentioned, we will be starting with uh, import group. So uh, we will start with like importing the climate data. As we mentioned earlier, the climate data, the weather data is all gathered in uh, EPW files that can be found for places all around the world. And we will see now how to uh, download this, these uh, files and how to link them uh, to Grasshopper. So to do that, to do that, we should go to this website, ladybug.tools epw map which is like uh, as it says like the a map of the epw files all around the world as i can see and i'm gonna uh, take an example some uh, like the data file of this city that i'm living in which is here so if i click here uh, i have two options if i want to download the file the whole file to my uh, local uh, computer or if i only want to uh, copy the link of this file so for now, I'm going to copy the link and come back to Rhino. After I copied, I can just double click and paste here. And here we go. We have our 
uh, data file it's included as like zip file but inside that zip file we have the epw file uh, from the import i have this option here download weather so if i put it on my screen and link my file it will be active and the task of this uh, component is only to like take the, or to work or download this uh, file and uh, take its epw uh, as like an output so the next step will be import epw which is like the main uh, the main component that uh, takes that epw file and give out like the uh, the output like all of these uh, information that we are seeing here so if i link the epw file here i will see that uh, it's also like activated and i have like the temperature the humidity the wind speed wind direction the radiation uh, diffuse radiation and like all of these other uh, information so uh, in, in order to view that i will also call a panel can see the location and i will see here the location is uh, curitiba and like this is the name of the airport with the coordinates of that uh, meteorological center that uh, all of these data are taken from uh, for example the next one so the dry bulb temperature which is like which means the exterior temperature all around the year uh, i can see here that it has some kind of data but it, it's not showing it so it has like it's saying that it has uh, all of these values uh, which are like the amount of hours in a year so this number here represents each single hour uh, all around the year so it has the temperature value of uh, the whole year uh, like hour by hour but now we're not seeing it because it's a kind of uh, like a, a ladybug language so it's it's ladybug data uh, in order for us to see and view this uh, these values we will come to uh, this uh, group here analyze data and we can see here deconstruct data so it's showing that like uh, within like, the icon you can see that it will deconstruct the uh, the written data from the uh, number data which is what we need so if we plug this here and check out the values we will see uh, that I have 8760 values which are like all the hours of the year like a day uh, like an hour by hour these are the temperature that are registered so if I just grab an average it, just for me to see the uh, average temperature in my city I will see that it's 17.5 which is like almost perfect and uh, if i for example put the relative humidity here i can see that i have like 81 percent which is like pretty humid and uh, like the wind speed would be 2.4 this these are all uh, average uh, data that are taken from uh, these values if i link these values like hour by, by hour i will see like everything is available here and the average will be like this the wind direction like uh, an angle here and the radiation and so so this is the introduction how we got the uh, epw the weather data file and how we got the output of it uh, i wanted to mention that uh, sometimes this website has like fault or uh, the the files that you download from this uh, website can give you like an error so uh, i wanted to give like another uh, resource that you can uh, download your apw file from which is the climate one building and uh, you can see here it's divided like according to the uh, like continents and if i can go so south america i will see brazil and i can see like all of the uh, the files that are available in brazil and if i choose my state 
I will see that uh, in Parana I have all of these uh, files and the cities, the city of Curitiba has all of these files. And uh, this way you can choose like what uh, is the file. For example, this is like the most updated one, uh, 2021. And uh, it has like some other sources other than that uh, airport that we uh, chose. And if we like just click it, it will be downloaded and we open it to see that it has like a lot of uh, other files but the one that we're going to use is this one that ends uh, like they the, had the format of epw and if i wanted to link my uh, downloaded file to the work that i'm doing so if i don't want it to be like going online each time and grabbing uh, that file there i can double click and when I say file, file path, with the right click, I can say select one existing file and it opens me uh, this file. I will paste the location and I can see this is my EPW, say open. So now I have this uh, EPW that is linked from my local drive to directly to Grasshopper. So I can just link it here and i will have the same um, like result so th these are the two ways that you can work with the epw file either you get it uh, online and just paste it to this component here that gets you the uh, the output the output of the epw file or you just download it and link it as uh, a file path here